Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Izukanji Kashua here. But since we're all friends, you can call me Izu. If you're new here, I talk movies, TV shows, gaming, music, basically everything entertainment. And on days like today, I like to throw back a little positivity back into the world. And if that can even help one person have a better day, put a smile on your face, or have a different approach to the week, then my job here is basically done. So if you're into any of that stuff, I'd strongly recommend you subscribe somewhere there. Hit the bell icon so that you can get that content first, okay? All right, let's get into it. Be the smartest person in the room. You've heard it a million times, I know I have. But do you really have to be the smartest person in the room? Do you have to be the smartest person all the time in every room? I don't think so, and here's why. If you're the smartest person in the room every time, in every room, everybody else around you is learning something from you. Where are you learning from? So personally, I disagree. You should not be the smartest person in the room, at least not all the time. I always wanted to be the smartest person in the room, especially in junior high. I would always study ahead. I would always be even five topics ahead of what we were on currently. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually very good, but I was doing it for the wrong reasons because I wanted to shine or I wanted to be the smartest person in the class. I wasn't doing it to learn. I was doing it to be the smartest person in that room. But the older I got, I, I came to realize that you cannot be in an environment where you're not learning from the people around you. It's a very unhealthy environment to be in. Whether it's academic, social, spiritual, economic, you have to be learning from the people around you constantly. If the people around you aren't teaching you anything, you are in the wrong rooms. If you are the smartest person in every room you walk in, you're probably walking into the wrong, wrong rooms. And I'd recommend you change the environments you are exposing yourself to less to be at a constant dormant state where you're not learning anything from everybody else and everybody else is learning from you, okay? So being the smartest person in the room all the time isn't the smartest thing. Even when we're picking our friends, personally I'd like to pick people that have certain qualities that I don't so that I can learn something from them. I'm a socially awkward person. I can't be put in a, a social environment and be expected to excel. It's just not who I am. I'm 90% introvert. That 10% is the one that's a bit, yeah, but basically I, I, I'm comfortable in my own environment. I'm not comfortable in, in, in social circles. It's just not who I am. I, I'm working on it, but it's not who I am. But there are people who can just meet someone for the first time. I have friends who can meet you for the first time and just like that spark conversation. I am incapable of doing that. If I'm seated across from you and you're in a social setup, it's not academic, it's not something I'm required to do, I probably won't do it. I'll probably say hi and that's probably as far as that conversation will go. Yeah, so the people I'm interested in hanging out with are people that possess qualities that I don't have, people I can learn from. That's, that's just how it should be. If you know everything about every topic with the people you're around, what, what are they there for? What, what are you gaining from them? Other than shining, other than that, what benefit is it to you to be the smartest person in every room. There's nothing. At this stage in my life, I would rather be in rooms where I'm learning something. If I'm talking to someone about uh, religion or spirituality, I would like to talk to someone that has more knowledge than I do. Relationships, the people that you date, especially if you date them to be in a long-term relationship where you see a future with them. I don't want to date my intellectual equal or my spiritual equal. I want to date someone that's better than me. Someone I can learn from, someone that can help me grow. Someone that can complement the things that I'm not so strong in. 
that's the goal. Why would you want to date someone who's your intellectual equal? What are you learning from them? If you're great at something, don't date someone or be with someone that's great in the same thing. And I've heard people go on dates and come back and be so excited about having so many things in common. That's not what creates a bond. What creates a bond isn't what you have in common, it's the differences. The things that they lack and you have and you have that they lack. That dynamic, that difference, that's what creates a bond because you are feeling a gap somewhere in their life and they're feeling a gap somewhere in your life. That is what creates a bond. So if you're seated across your intellectual equal or your spiritual equal or somebody who understands business or economics or any topic, as much as you do, just as much as you do, no one is learning from the other. No one is creating growth in the other person. You're just exchanging what's there that each of you know. Then where is the growth in that relationship? Whether romantic or platonic, where is the growth? How does that evolve to the next level? You have no business dating a person that you cannot learn from. Especially if this relationship is something you see long term. You do not want to be the smartest person in that room. Being, uh, that room being the relationship. I don't want to be the smartest person. I want to learn from my partner. I want my partner to learn from me in other aspects. Just like I'm bringing something to the table, they should bring something that I don't possess to the table. That's the only way growth happens. But if you're constantly put in an environment where you know everything, you do not grow, you stay at the same state, you stay at the same level. And that brings about comfort. You become comfortable being I know everything. What kind of relationship does that turn to? What kind of friendship does that become? I don't want to be in a room where I'm the smartest person. At this point in my life, I do not want to be the smartest person in a relationship, in a friendship, in any room that I walk in. I do not want, because right now I'm hungry. I want to learn. I want to acquire knowledge. And the only way I can do that is being exposed to people that know more about a certain topic, about a certain field than I do. That's the only way you learn. You can go to classes, but your social setting, where you learn things naturally, you have to be in an environment that allows you to grow. If the girl in your life, if the man in your life isn't bringing that growth, I don't see how that survives long term. I think it's cool to be the smartest person in the room. I think it's not healthy to be the smartest person in every room, okay? So when you're seeking out relationship, platonic, romantic, when you're seeking out people that you can hang out with socially, find people that are smarter than you. Find people that know certain things that you don't. Find people that can contribute to your own personal growth. Do not be the smartest person in the room. Being the smartest person in the room is actually dumb. Okay? Alright. That's it from me. You guys have a great week. And as always, dare, dare to be great. See what happens. Peace.